So this is a milkweed leaf beetle. I don't know if I can turn him so you can get a better look at it. Again, because it feeds on milkweed, it has these warning colors like most milkweed feeders do. These are really cool. If you pick them up, they actually will rub the pieces together and so uh, these, these, uh, these beetles will make a hissing sound. Uh, but they feed on milkweed. This one's about to fly. Um, that's their sole kind of food. Uh, the, the baby ones live inside the, the, the beetle borers. In fact, there's a longhorn beetle, as you can see. And, oh, I just dropped them. Oh, but that's okay, because look, lo, lo and behold, <laughs> there is, I think it's more. I mean, look, there's more of them here. Again, they feed on, on, milkweed, on milkweed. They then get the cardioglycoside to protect themselves because of their, uh, that makes them, uh, uh, again, venomous, to, poisonous to other things. And that's very common. Most things that feed on milkweed. They have some warning color. In this case, the red and black is the most common. But other kinds too. Like for example, here we have a, um, I don't know if you can see them. Here we have a dogbane leaf beetle. And it, it will feed on milkweed as well. But again, the bright colors to warn that it's, that it's toxic and so forth. So two different things that, that have warning colors to show that uh, you should not eat them. Uh, milkweed leaf beetle and the dogbane beetle.